Today we're creating one checkbox to control them all. We're creating a select all checkbox. In this video, what we want to do is create a series of checkboxes and at the top, we're going to have one checkbox that's able to check or uncheck all of the boxes below it. So let's just speed up. Let's fly through the intro here. Uh, as you saw in the opening scene, I've just started off with days of the week. So for my checkbox one through five, I'm going to have the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then on checkbox six, that's the one I've put up at the very top. That's going to be my select all checkbox. So we're going to figure out how to code this up and how to make it do what we want. Now, as with anything in life, there is usually two ways of doing things, the right way and the wrong way. Just for fun, I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it. So we could, this would still work, it'd still be fine. We could use the checked property of uh, checkbox six and we, we know how to duplicate. We know hopefully at this stage how to change component names by using this little drop down menu. And very quickly and very easily here, when we've got things um, playing at 2x speed, uh, we're able to get this app working essentially. The only problem with this is that it's not very scalable and the code isn't very easy to read. So imagine for instance, um, that we've got a slight change to our app. Let's say we have to add in an extra check checkbox. So after Friday, we've got Saturday. Then what do we have to do on our blocks in order to make this work? So as far as I can see anyway, we've got to add in two blocks here to figure out whether or not it should be checked and two more blocks when it should be unchecked. So one component um, added to our app meant having four extra blocks. That doesn't seem particularly efficient. And you can imagine if there was hundreds of components, this would become very, very time consuming. So a much better way to do this is because these are all similar kinds of things, is kind of lends itself really well to using a list. Let's create a variable. Let's uh, give it a, a better name here. Let's call it, uh, for instance, a list of checkboxes. And if you go into the light blue lists category, that's where you'll get the create empty list block. So since this variable is empty by default, when our screen loads, that's click on screen one and get the screen one dot initialize block, we're going to add items to our list. So we're going to add in, um, I've got six days at the moment in the app. So we're going to add in six items and we want to add them into the list of checkboxes. So let's have, just find one of them here. For instance, checkbox one, this is where duplication comes in really handy. So we can change all of these to be the correct numbers. Uh, five and six is my select all. So let's pop in checkbox seven there like that. Now what we're going to do is rather than having um, all of these setters individually setting one checkbox at a time, we're going to use a for loop. We're going to loop through all of the items in our list of checkboxes using a block like this over here. So you'll find that in control if you're looking for it. Um, but what I'm going to do now is take a look at um, the any components. Uh, so in our list of um, checkboxes, we want any checkbox. So in any components, you're probably going to have to click on that little plus icon there. Let's go into any checkbox and get any checkbox dot checked like that. So the component, you're going to use the item variable just like this, and then we'll set it to true. And we, when when that's checked, we can uncheck them just by changing it to false like this. So let's take a look at this in action. We can check them all, uncheck them all, check them individually, check and uncheck. So yeah, this is great. And we've got our six days of the week. What about making this scalable? I thought the whole idea was to make it a little bit more scalable. First thing what we can do is we can tidy up the code because checkbox six dot checked actually is a Boolean value. So it's perfectly acceptable just to put it in there like this. Yeah, let's delete those blocks. And that's actually all the code now that we need to toggle all of the checkboxes in our list. So the scenario here is we've got to add in an extra component. Here's checkbox eight. That's going to be Sunday, obviously. Um, and now how do we go about adding it into our app? So previously we needed four new blocks. Now we add in an extra item and one new block. Let's just add in checkbox eight at the very end like that. So one new component, one new block. 
that's all there is to the app. So much easier to maintain, easier to update, and personally, I think much easier to understand. Everything here, seven days a week, all selectable, all unselectable, uh, and that's all there is to it. So if you've made it to the end of the video, congrats. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave the questions in the comment section below and subscribe for more videos.